Hey people, what's up? In this video, we are going to see how you can use redirectors with Posh command and control software. Now before we go ahead and implement a redirector in our command and control infra, let's first take a moment to understand what is a redirector exactly. A redirector is a proxy server that sits between your command and control server and the implants which are reporting to the command and control server. To help you understand this, I have a very simple diagram here. So this is our C2 server and this is our implant. In a normal scenario, these two components of C2 infra will talk to each other directly. However, with a redirector, we put this machine in between and it accepts the connection from C2 server and forwards it to the implant and it also does the opposite that is it accepts the connection from implant and forwards them to C2 server. Now one of the questions you might be wondering is why do we want this in our C2 infra? There are a couple of advantages of using a redirector in your C2 infrastructure. The first is that with the help of redirector you can blend in the C2 traffic from your implant to C2 server and vice versa within the normal network traffic. To do this, you can set up your redirector over the internet and point it to a realistic sounding domain name and have all the traffic from implant directed to domain name and from there your redirector will forward all the traffic to the C2 server. The second advantage is because the redirector is sitting in between the C2 server and implant, it hides the C2 server from network monitoring devices in the target network. With redirector in place, all those devices will see that the workstations in the network are communicating to the redirector and the C2 server will be invisible to them. The third advantage is that you can club this infra with daisy chains and you can further increase the stealth of your C2 operations there. If you want to learn how to set up daisy chains with Posh C2, check out my channel Yaksha CSC. I have a video there which explains how to set up daisy chains with Posh C2. So let's see this in practice. For the purpose of this video, I'll be demonstrating using my local lab. You can also use a cloud-based VM to set up as a redirector. The first thing that we need to do to use a redirector is to configure Posh for using a redirector. And that can be done very easily by changing certain configuration in a Posh C2 project. So let's generate a new Posh C2 project. And now I'll run posh config to configure this project. In the bind IP, I'll write the IP address of my C2 server. I'll change the port to 80. Now, in order to use a redirector, we need to change the URL of this payload comms host and we'll set it to our redirector machine which is at 192.168.3.201 and this can also be a domain name and you can also set up domain fronting if you're using a CDN such as CloudFront or Cloudflare as a redirector. Below you can configure certain request headers that your implant will use while communicating with this redirector. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave it as it is. Just keep in mind that in this video, the C2 server is running on port 80 and a redirector machine is also running on port 80. And we're done here, so I'll just close this file. Now let's run Posh server. And it gives me a cannot assign requested address. That is because Apache is already running on port 80, so I need to stop that. It's still giving me this error. Let's check our posh config file. And Okay, there's a typo in our binding IP address and I forgot to put one here. It seems right. Let's 
close this and let's run posh server again so whenever you run posh server it will go ahead and regenerate the payloads depending on the configuration that you have set for this particular project and these payloads will be stored in your project directory so in my case the project directory is ptadlab underscore redirector and you can find all these payloads in payloads folder under this directory so posh c2 has finished generating the payloads and here if you see it is now using the url of our redirector machine for certain payloads now first let's test this without configuring our redirector machine and for that i would like to run wireshark and we want to see if there is any traffic between our c2 server which is 200 and our implant which is going to be on 45 all right i'll start capture and right now there is no traffic here so let's try to generate some traffic and here we need to run posh to launch the posh interactive agent and at present I don't have any implants reporting to the server now let's scroll up and choose a payload that we are going to use on our target machine and, and for this video, I would like to use this MS HTA payload, which uses Microsoft HTML application to execute our payload. Now let's go to our target machine. Let's verify the IP address first. And the IP address for this machine is 192.160.3.45. Let's paste our MS HTA command. And also note that this will run in the command prompt and not in PowerShell. So keep that in mind while you're executing this payload. You can use PowerShell to execute a command in command prompt. That is something I'll probably cover in one of the later videos. So here it is giving me a script error. I will press yes to continue. And as you can see a window has opened however nothing else has happened let's go back to our c2 server and see if there is any activity so no new agents have reported to the posh c2 server and we can refresh it a couple of times to verify that now let's check wireshark and there is no traffic between our c2 server and our target implant now let's do one more test Let's put the filter here for our redirect IP address and our target implant. And here you'll see that the implant actually tried to reach to our redirector, which is at 201. And it performed certain TCP requests. However, none of them were successful because currently on our redirect machine, there is nothing which is listening on port 80. So let's stop this capture again and we'll restart the capture and we'll use this as a filter to see any traffic between our redirector machine and our implant machine. Now let's go to our redirector machine and configure it to listen on port 80 and forward any traffic that it listens on port 80 to our C2 server on port 80. I'm using Ubuntu 19.04 as a redirector for my setup and I'm using SOCAT for proxying the traffic between the redirector and my C2 server. SOCAT does not come pre-installed in Ubuntu. You will need to install it. Command for that is sudo apt-get install SOCAT. And in order to configure SOCAT to listen on port 80, we give the command SOCAT TCP 4. That means it is using TCP IP version 4 and we are going to listen on port 80 
and for any connection that it listens on port 80 it will create a child process again of type tcp4 and it will forward the connection to this ip address which is 192.168.3.200 on port 80 and we are using fork here to handle that connection in a child process if we do not do this socat will stop after listening to one connection fork enables socat to listen for multiple connections on port 80 and then hand them out to child processes to handle the connection so let's run this command so now our redirector is set up now let's go back to our implant machine and try to execute our mshdf payload i will close this first let's clear the window and run this command again so this time as you saw a powershell window appeared and it went away and let's see if there is any activity on our c2 server so here i have uh, wireshark open and you can see that now there are a couple of requests from to and from the implant and redirector and all the communication is being done over the http protocol now let's go to our posh c2 command and control center and here you can see that a new implant has connected to our posh c2 server and if we do a refresh here we can see that new implant the process id for the implant is 2992 the the beacon time is 5 seconds that will the implant will check every 5 seconds with the c2 server if there is anything new for it to execute the user that we are logged in as is user.ind02 and the name of the machine is foothold2 to interact with this implant we simply give the implant id and now let's try to run certain commands it's just ps and you can see the output from the implant here and let's try another command such as ipconfig we are going to ignore this opsec warning for now and here is the output of ipconfig command now let's go to wireshark and see what happened i will stop this capture and let's scroll down let's follow this stream so this is from the target implant to the redirector and if we follow this http stream we'll see that the implant made a post request and sent the malform png file to the redirector and this malform png file contains the output of the command that we asked our posh to implant to execute and notice the packet number is 979 and closer to this we'll have another similar request where the source will be our redirector machine and the destination will be a c2 server so let's clear this filter and if you go to packet number 979 here we'll see that just below that a few packets later our redirector made a similar post request to our c2 server and let's verify this from HTTP stream and sent the malform PNG that it received from the implant to the C2 server. Now, if you wish to see all PNG related traffic between plant, redirector, and posh C2 server, you can use this filter. And what this means is that we are filtering for packets which are related to HTTP protocol and they contain this string, which is .png written in hex form. So let's implement this filter and here you will see all the PNG related requests. So there's a request from our implant to our redirector and then from redirector to our C2 server. Similarly, again, there is a request from implant to redirector and redirector to C2 server and so on. So in this way, you can place a redirector between your C2 server and the implant and further increase the stealth of your C2 operations. If you would like to see more of Posh C2 in action, we have a course on Red Team Adversary Emulation where we give a live demonstration of an adversary emulation exercise on a fintech startup. And in this training or exercise, 
we perform a mix of techniques including brute forcing, active directory, enumeration and attacks, privilege escalation, phishing. And throughout this training, we are using Posh C2 as our command and control software. This is a beginner level training and you can enroll in this course or training via the link shown here or you can also find the link to this training in the description below. So that's all I had for this video and if you like our videos, do subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and colleagues. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you soon in the next video.